Hello everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude here and I'm here to review the Spongebob episode, The Great Patty Caper, requested by It Is Rain Blood, who by the way has a channel, if you want to check him out, I will leave a link in the description below, and Ghost Runner 333. So the Great Patty Caper is about when Mr. Krabs stores the Krabby Patty secret formula far, far away into apparently the safest bank ever when Plankton, of course, tries to steal the Krabby Patty secret formula. SpongeBob and Mr. Krabs, they're of course making the Krabby Patty, but guess what? They needed the formula to help them with the recipe and they have to go all the way over there to the bank. So Mr. Krabs gives SpongeBob the job to go on this train and go all the way to the bank just to go get the Krabby Patty secret formula. While they're on the train, they're trying to uncover this mystery because because someone apparently stole the key that opens the bank vault that where the Krabby Patty secret formula is. So, to be honest with you guys, the Great Patty Caper wasn't that good of a special, in my opinion. Now, I don't think it's the worst SpongeBob special because, to be honest, there have been far, far worse. It's just... Meh. Now the biggest failure I could tell you about this special is that Nickelodeon promotes it like it's going to be this mystery episode and you're all like, okay, cool, a mystery episode. That sounds right. That sounds like it could be fun because who doesn't like a good mystery? But when you watch this special, there's no mystery. And that's where I was really infuriated by not really this special but more of Nickelodeon because Nickelodeon promotes it like it's gonna be this big uh, mystery special but then then again it's the writers fault because they could have had a real real potential to make this a really good mystery uh, special it fails being a mystery special but not only that the special did feel rather lost because when this episode starts off it has a good setup I really loved how this episode actually started I loved how we saw Spongebob and Mr. Krabs make the recipe together and then of course with Plankton and the way you would see the Krabby Patty secret formula ship far far away into the bank you know all that stuff was cool and then once SpongeBob and Patrick board the train, that's when I was starting to really get bored watching the special. And it's not like I hated it. I didn't hate it other than one particular scene, which I'm gonna get to in a little bit. But I was just bored once they do hop on the train. And the mystery is like, just the first half thing. The second half becomes a totally different thing when it comes to this episode. And that's where I say it does get lost. Because the first half, SpongeBob and Patrick, they try to find out the key. And then the second half, it's SpongeBob and Patrick trying to stop the train. But I do want to say that the second half of the special was definitely better. It was definitely more of an improvement. Once Plankton does kick Spongebob and Patrick out of the train in the second half. That's why I begin to like it. But let me get a little more into the first half. Because the first half, you have Spongebob and Patrick trying to go around. Who has the key to the bank to get the formula? And then obviously they're speculating that Plankton is one of the suspects. And I mean... <sighs> Yeah, I, that's where, ugh, I don't even know what to say in all honesty. It's just the fact that it's a mystery episode, but there's no mystery to it. It's like you just kind of really question that. And when you get to this one scene in which that was horrible, there was one scene in this episode I thought was atrocious, and that was pretty much the end of the first half of the special. 
when SpongeBob is with the police officers, he's going around and seeing who had the key, and he searches this nanny who turned out to be like a little baby. And you had the fake baby that was actually a man that's little, and oh my gosh, and what were the writers thinking with those fake? Uh, with those baby looking fishes. Oh my god, they look so horrible. What the hell? And then really the whole diamond thing, that scene was so stupid. Why in the hell did they have to do that werewolf? That was so unnecessary. That had to be one of the dumbest choices the writers have ever made. Not only with those ugly tiny fishes that look like babies but then the werewolf that whole entire scene you guys just made me cringe you want to know who actually had this key the whole time spongebob because apparently when patrick was cleaning his teeth with the key he actually told spongebob that the key was inside spongebob's shorts the whole time when he was cleaning his shorts like Seriously, writers? That's the best you've got? Are you freaking kidding me? Are you serious? Like when they're in the train, yeah, there's a few scenes with Patrick that did make me laugh. Like there's this Patrick mirror part that I thought was really well done. And when Patrick's all like, cops, I need you. Like, you know, there's a few Patrick gags that did make me laugh in the first half. But, you know, I was really bored for the most part when they're up in the train. There just wasn't anything really engaging that happened when they're up in that train. This episode was not a mystery and it just focused on being something more fun. I feel like it could have been a lot more better. But that's where I get to my biggest positive with the special. The second half. Most of the second half I actually thought was really good because as I did point out, once Plankton just kicked Spongebob and Patrick right out of the train and Spongebob and Patrick had to get back in the train and from there Spongebob and Patrick have to stop the train from crashing, that's when the special actually delivered fun. I wasn't bored. From that point on, I was actually having fun. It was really exciting. I liked that SpongeBob and Patrick had to stop that train. The first half was fun with its setup before SpongeBob and Patrick went on the train, but after that, there was no fun. And you know, you could say the storyline still is lost with the second half, but like I said, I was able to pretty much forgive that just because I was having fun with that whole train situation. Why is the train stop at a rest home with the elderly? Like, seriously, that was their stop? Like, seriously, that's where the train stops? At this rest home where it can easily hit? Like, damn, am I the only one that really noticed that? Like. Those elderlies could easily die. It is like, that was weird. The episode does end when SpongeBob and Patrick crash into the train on time to stop Plankton. And that's where the episode kind of lost me, you know? SpongeBob and Patrick, they crash into the bank. They stop Plankton. This bank owner tells Mr. Krabs that he's gonna have to pay for damages of the bank. Mr. Krabs screams, no! And then we go 75 years later for no reason with SpongeBob very old telling his grandson about his story of him and Patrick on a train. I'm watching this going, yeah, the writers had no idea how they were gonna end this special, so they just had to end it with Mr. Krabs having to deal with the damages and then boom, cut to 75 years later. So it was weird on the specials part, but the special really is a waste of potential. It's not very memorable. It's, like I said, I didn't really hate it other than that one particular scene, but the writers, they really could have done so much more. So I am going to give The Great Patty Caper a 5.5 out of 10. So you guys, in the comments down below, let me know, what did you think of the great Patty Caper? This is 22 Tiger Dude here, and don't forget that I will always have time.
Power.